general principles. So there are five main things that we can look at here when it comes to putting together a taper. Firstly, reduce the neuromuscular effect of the training session. What's one way that we can measure the neuromuscular effect of a training session? We can use that neuromuscular fatigue rating scale. One would be really easy, a swim, recovery, a long walk. Four would be something super tough, maybe a lot of strong man training, which is really fatigues. You, you guys can feel your nervous systems, feel like they've done something now, as well as as well as your muscles and bones and joints. So reduce the neuromuscular effect of the training session so it's not breaking you down. Reduce the volume of training. So do less. Sounds familiar? This is just like you would in, in a deload. So less training. Hold on to the intensity though. Now not intensity to the point where you're smashing your body and you're getting this neuromuscular fatigue because that's not what we're looking for. More in terms of you being able to do the fast, sharp, snappy stuff, fast burpees, fast rowing, sprints, the stuff that doesn't smash your body too much, but you can still keep that cardiorespiratory endurance up. We talked about cramming skill development. You can get a lot of skill development in a very short amount of time just by practicing. I mean, we talked in programming yesterday about trainable weaknesses versus practicable weaknesses. We can work on the practicable stuff. Changes occur in the learner as a process of practice and learning, and that happens pretty quickly. Again, as you guys saw from what we did today.